Nashukuru Bwana kwa sababu ya leo. I know that the mercy of God are here with us. Najua ya kwamba rehema za Bwana ziko hapa pamoja na us. And the Holy Spirit has not gone for you. Na Roho Mtakatifu hajaenda kwa likizo. Hallelujah. Amen. The Holy Spirit has not gone for you. Roho Mtakatifu hajaenda likizo. Many can slumber. Watu wanaenda sizii. But the Holy Spirit does not slumber. Lakini Roho Mtakatifu asizii. Then you are afraid that the Holy Spirit does not slumber. When you are asleep, unakulala. He is awake. Anakuwa akomanja. And he comes awake in your life. Na anakuja kuamsha maisha yako. May he awake you this morning. Aja akuamsha asbuya. May he awake you this morning. Aja akuamsha asbuya. May the spirit of the Father awake you alive this morning. Aja roho wana akuamsha asbuya leo. And you know when he comes awake in you. Na wajua anapokuja kuamsha. He put a new song in your spirit. Anaweka wimbo mpya katika nafsi yako. He put a new song in your heart. Anaweka he takes away that dry from your mouth and from your heart. He takes away the dry from your mouth. The Bible says, so may it love for the night. And happiness comes in the morning. And today is your day to rejoice. It is your day to celebrate. In the name of Jesus. I want us to turn to our Bibles. In the name of Jesus. And I know that the God we serve, the God of Father, is hope to bless us. Amen. Is your Father. Is your Lord. May we turn into our Bibles in the book of Mark chapter 4. And the same day when the evening was come, he said unto them, Let us pass over unto the other side. And when they had sent away the multitude, they took him even as he was in the ship. And there were also with him other little ships. And then there arose a great storm of wind, and the waves beat unto uh, into the ship, so that it was it was now full. That is the Bible says that, and he was in the inner part of the ship, asleep on a pillow, and they awake him and say unto him, Master, cast thou not that we perish. And he arose and rebuked the wind, and he said unto the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased him. And there was a great calm. And he said unto them, Why are ye so fearful? How is it that ye have no faith? May we also turn to the book of Philippians, chapter 1, verse 6. The Bible says that, Be confident of this very thing, that he which has begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. I thank God because of this one. The week has been so good. We have and we have seen the divine development of the Lord. Not in our lives. And we have emerged victors. Because of the week of the Lord. This morning. As we are I want to share on the subject that whatever he begins elsewhere, he means God. Whatever he begins elsewhere, tell your friend that whatever God begins elsewhere, Today, we are going to understand 
upata fahamu why we must be with god bona yafaa tuanze na mungu the bible says bila sema when god was created when the earth was being created wakati ni wengi ulikuwa na mungu the creation began with god maombaji yalianza kwa mungu and at the end of it na kufikia mwisho wake we see god in choice tunaona mungu atupendeze god be getting satisfied tunaona mungu akitosheleka and why Yesu Kristo 
Let us cross over. The other side of the river. The Bible says, as they were crossing over, they entered into a ship. They entered into the ship. And in the process of of traveling, the process of traveling, there was great and waves of the sea. Storms were all over. I believe to those of us who have been able to go to Mombasa. Those have been able to go and see that Victoria. They understand what the storms are. These are, uh, they are found in the seas. As the times they can kill you. So the Bible says, they enter into the ship. And after entering the ship, they started traveling to the other side. They were traveling to the other side. The Bible says that Jesus went and slept. He was sleeping in the sea, in the ship. And as they were traveling, storms raised the earth in that in the ship. There were waves. There were storms. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There were waves and storms. The Bible says, even some waters entered the, the ship. And Jesus was asleep. Why did the storms rose against the ship? It is because of the word which Jesus told them. Yeah. 
something good. Na ileza faida kitu kizuri. Hallelujah. 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 Then your friend that we can turn to Jesus. Ami rafiki yangu ya kwamba jamani tunaweza kumpokea Yesu. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah. Pia sema katika kitabu cha Isaya. Ah uh, 62 pastor. Sitini na mbili mstari wake wa saba. Isaya 62 sir. Sitini na mbili mstari wake wa saba. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. Says that and he give him no rest till he establish and till he makes Jerusalem a place on the arm. Sema ya kwamba usimpe pumziko mpaka atakapofanya Yerusalemu kuwa sifa duniani. Hallelujah. Amen. That is that word which God is for. Kunalo ile neno aliyosema Mungu. Stand on it. Simamie. Don't give God rest. Usimpe Mungu pumziko. Claim it in the morning. Itaya asubuhi. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The word which God is for concerning your life. Neno aliyonena Mungu kuhusiana na maisha yako. Don't give him rest. Don't give God rest. Usimpe Mungu pumziko. Until I see it coming into manifestation. I am not living in the close in this. Until I see the manifestation of the word of God. I am not giving you rest. Praise the Lord. Are you with me? The Bible says that in the beginning was the word. Yes, the word was with God. And the word was God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the word manifested. It became into being. It became alive. It started walking. It answered the prayer to me. Why, why cry unto me? 
Ilia. Speak unto the children of Israel. Nena na wana wa Israel. Say them. Wabie. Go forward. And then they need pay. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible talks about the Israelites. Bina nena kuhusu wa Israel. God gave them a promise. Bogo aliwapa ahadi. And he promised them, he promised to take them the land flows with the milk and honey. Na aile aile kwa peleka katika enchi ambayo inafulika na maziwa na asali. The land flows with the milk and honey. And enchi ambayo inafulika asali na maziwa. And the Bible says. The Bible says. Walipokuwa wanasafiri. They encountered the many challenges. Wakakupana na changamoto nyingi. Kwa sababu ya neno ambayo Mungu aliwapa. Na wasau kwa watia. They were facing the river which was ahead of them. Ambapo walikuwa wanakabiliana na bahari ambayo ilikuwa iko. Na nyuma kulikuwa na wamisi walikuwa wanafuata. They were seeing hell. Walikuwa wanaona kuzimu. Hallelujah. Nikasoma eneo ambapo alikuwa wanadukuliko na nasema mbona ukichukua katika nchi ya Misri ukatuleta jikani ili tufe.